you a question, girl. Don't you dare ignore me. Answer me. Suicide treaty or not, I'll do what I have to to get what I came for. You need my family, Valentina. We're the only ones who know how to make the winter thorn. Your husband and my uncle stopped making it years ago. Did you make an omelet out of your brain for breakfast this morning? Do you think I need your pathetic husband and useless father to make candy? Maybe not the candy itself, but we're the only ones who know how to mix it with the winter thorn. Without it, the candy won't taste as good. Taste good? <laughs> oh my God, she never told you, did she? At least I had the decency to tell my daughters about what Winterthorn actually does. Maybe that's why your sister Celine ran off and hasn't been heard from in years. She probably couldn't handle it when your mother told her the truth. And Joanna didn't want history to repeat itself by telling you. <laughs> she must have been relieved to kill herself after raising such weak daughters. You are a soulless, heartless beast of a woman. <laughs> Let the beast educate you, my dear. Winterthorn was discovered by the women of our family over two centuries ago. On the surface, it looks like a normal plant. However, they came to discover that when it was ground up, and mixed with sugar. The chemical components of the plant changed and it became highly addictive. More addictive than heroin, in fact. That can't be true. Not only is it true, but our ancestors used it to their advantage to get out from under the yoke of their oppressive husbands. You wanted them to be nothing more than servants they could sleep with. So what are you saying? Our candy is like a drug. Not just any drug. An untraceable drug that no agency on earth can regulate. It's all natural poison. And every year millions of fat little bastards chomp down on centuries of engineering that has been perfected to make sure they keep coming back for more. <laughs> Do you actually think that we've all been fighting each other and killing each other for hundreds of years because we're worried about making yummy candy? We did it so our daughters could have the kind of unbridled freedom most women only ever dream of. My mother. Your mother was a grade A bitch. A control freak. A monster. And obviously just as skilled a manipulator as she was when we were girls. Because she dropped you right into a bubble. So you would eternally think she was squeaky clean. Why is that the joke of the century? If you scrape the bottom of any barrel on earth, your mother's face will be right there staring back at you. You say one more word about her? One more word, and I will show you who the bitch in this family is. Strong words from a vapid little China doll. <laughs> Leave right now! Your mother was given seeds from our great-grandmother when she was a little girl. I was told to hide them from us. Those seeds are what will save your family's life if you hand them over to me. They're more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Oh, oh, those seeds. Oh. Why didn't you say so? I, I have them right over here next to my magic beans. Do you know how crazy you sound? I don't have what you want. You are just gonna have to settle making candy 
without anything laced in it. You're right. <clears throat> Your ignorance makes my ears bleed. <laughs> We've been using synthetic winterthorn in our candy for years. We produce way too much product to rely on nature. The seeds your mother was given came from the original plant, the first winterthorn plant in creation, and that is worth something more because it contains the element that will keep our family in power for hundreds of years to come. Something that can't be mass produced. Get out of my house. I'm sorry that you brought me to this. I really didn't want it to be this way. But I'm gonna take this family into the future with or without you. Your sisters will never let you get away with this. Well, obviously they aren't gonna be able to stop me. After I'm finished with you, who should be next? Should I wait for your husband to get home? Maybe your dear sweet daddy. I know. How about the crippled little reject that's been hanging onto her every word? What's his name again? Colin, is it? You know, if you just killed him like you were supposed to in the first place, none of this would be happening. You leave my son out of this. Last chance, Miranda. Our family is running out of time. We need those seeds. Say hello to your mother for me.